If you would like our free newsletters on various religious topics, just send us an email at cdebater at aol.com and free newsletters will be sent to you by mail. Just provide your postal address in your email. The following are samples of some of the newsletters we have available. Does God Believe in Atheists? Part 1 Seventh-day Adventism, True or False? The Agony of Deceit The Origins of Muhammad's Religion Spiritual Warfare Are Psychic Mediums Communicating with Ghosts or Demonic Spirits? Testimony to the Eternal Godhead, the Trinity. From Tradition to Truth, a Priest's Story. An Evaluation of the Oneness Pentecostal Movement. Mormonism, Counterfeit Christianity. Turn or Burn. Jehovah's Witnesses, Deceived Deceivers. Links to these newsletters can also be found at our website www.biblequery.org Once on the home page, simply click on the menu icon at the upper left hand corner. Then click on the newsletters button. Feel free to print them out. 1 Peter 3.15 says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. Why do biblical Christians still keep on fighting Catholics 500 years after the Reformation? Don't we have more things in common, especially with powerful foes in the world such as abortion, poverty, and secularization? Very good question, Stuart. Um, there are not more important things that seek first the kingdom of God and all other things will be given to you, as the scripture says. It is the spiritual things are much more important than other things. And if spiritual things are right, then we can address other issues because we have a firm foundation in Christ Jesus, the risen Lord. Now, why are, why are they why are they antagonistic against, uh, against biblical Christians? Why are biblical Christians an antagonistic against Catholics? Because they deny that what the Scripture says. The Scripture says emphatically, and I quote word for word, for that by grace you've been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. The Bible says, is by grace you're saved, it's true faith, and faith is a gift of God, it's not of works, lest anyone should boast. And the Catholic Church declares that it is necessary to believe on the sacraments, and they are works. I quote exactly from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 1129, if you go online, or if you have a catechism of, of the Catholic Church, and put in 1129, you'll get these exact words, quotation, official teaching of the Catholic Church. The Church affirms that for believers, the sacraments of the New Covenant are necessary for salvation. They declare that the sacraments of the New Covenant are necessary for salvation. That is baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, penance, extramunction, holy orders, and matrimony. All of these are necessary subparts for salvation, and these are works. <laughs> and the Bible says not of works. <laughs> and the Catholic Church says it is of works. It's of sacraments. Sacraments are things that the priest does. It's quite interesting that um, there's priests in the Catholic Church, and they, um, you know, they have a, they look to their priests, and it's quite interesting that there were priests in the Old Testament. <laughs> there's no priests in New Testament times. All the instruction that the Apostle Paul gives was to the elders and to the pastors, to the teachers. He doesn't give any instruction to priests because there's no priests. That was an office of the Old Testament. 
but the Catholic Church has a so-called priest. There's no office of the priesthood. There's the high priestly office of Christ Jesus, but not of, of, of physical men. That was an Old Testament thing. So the official words of the Catholic Church, the Church affirms that for believers, the sacraments of the New Covenant are necessary for salvation. These physical things are necessary for salvation. The scripture says, for by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. The Catholic Church says it is of works. It, the, the sacraments of the new covenant are necessary for salvation. Make your choice. Is the Bible right in saying not of works? Or is the Catholic Church right in saying it is of the sacraments and the sacraments are works? It is clear cut. Believer, you are on a solid foundation because you're built on the clear cut word of God not of works, it's His grace alone, and the faith is His gift. Roman Catholic listener, you're on sandy ground, unstable ground, because you say it is, the sacraments are necessary. It's a clear-cut distinction. And it's a distinction that will make the difference between life and death, between heaven and hell. Believe on Christ Jesus. Cry out to him for faith and grace and he will give it to you. Trust on him and him alone and you will know eternal salvation. I said it before, but I say it again, I'm so thankful that I discovered this in 1985 when I saw that I was spiritually dead and I cried out to God for his gift of faith and to activate it by his grace. And he gave that to me and I had peace with him, the Eternal Father, and peace within my own soul. And the same can be true of you. It is by grace you've been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. The Catholic Church says the sacraments of the new covenant are necessary for salvation, a clear-cut distinction. Trust in what the written word of God says. As Christ Jesus himself said, thy word is truth. The word of God is truth. And cast away from you any church that teaches it is of works and that sacraments are necessary for salvation. And may God be praised and soul saved to the praise and glory of his grace. Amen and amen. If you would like a free newsletter on this or other subjects, just give us a call at Christian Answers. The phone number is area code 512-218-8022. That's 512-218-8022. Or you could email us at cdebater at aol.com. That's cdebater at aol.com. Thank you. Hello, this is Larry Wessels, Director of Christian Answers of Austin, Texas, Christian Debater Ministries. I'm pleased to introduce to my audience a dear brother in the Lord, Richard Bennett, Director of Berean Beacon Ministries, an outreach to Roman Catholics. It is great to be here, Larry. For people that don't know you, you were a Roman Catholic priest for 22 years. Is that right? Please give us 
a short account of your life. Yes, I was a Catholic priest for 22 years. I was a Catholic altogether for 48 years, having grown up in Dublin, Ireland. I was trained uh, very early on in my education, in what we call secondary and elementary education, uh, by the Jesuits. And then I decided to become a Catholic priest, and I spent eight years uh, in preparation. It was a novitiate year, and then six years to ordination when I was ordained a priest in Dublin, Ireland in 1963, and then one year in Rome, eight years in all. Then I spent uh, 21 years in uh, Trinidad West Indies as a parish priest carrying out the the work of a priest. I had the best academic training you could get finishing up in the city of Rome itself near the Vatican. And I, I really had a desire to bring P- Catholics to uh, what we thought was a way of being right with God so that they could get to purgatory and then that they finally could get to heaven. And I was great for doing penances and sacrifices. And then I was very devout in Trinidad, uh, uh, baptizing babies, hearing people's confessions and doing all the sacraments. It was in 1972, I had a very serious accident where I was three days unconscious after the serious accident and then after that time when I got out of the hospital in the sanatorium I began searching in the Bible for what is true. It took me 14 years of comparing the Bible to Catholicism before I realized that I was dead in trespasses and sins and it was by grace alone that we are saved. I One night I got on the floor in my house and I cried out to God for faith and his grace to save a wretch like me, dead in trespass and sins, and he gloriously did that. It was about two months afterwards. I very reluctantly left the Catholic Church because my prayer after I was right with God by biblical salvation was that I could really love Catholics and give them the real true gospel of grace. That is grace alone, faith alone, and in Christ alone. But then in prayer over those two months after I was saved, the Lord showed me that I could best serve him and love Catholics if I left actually the priesthood and the Catholic Church and reached out to Catholics nonetheless. And um, I I did that. I left uh, the priesthood in 1985 and uh, reached the States in 1986. And uh, I, um, I just prayed and prayed that I would have a love for Catholics to reach out. I thank the Lord that after one year as a missionary in China, I was able to start the ministry that I now have called BereanBeacon.org. It is to show Catholics the real truth of where salvation is in a person, not in any church. And it is by God's grace, not by any ritual that any church does. So this has been really wonderful. I've seen priests save. I saw two priests in Poland, you know, through our ministry. We have a Polish webpage besides many other languages and, of course, in English. And I thank God that I have seen God's grace poured out. And that is my heart's desire, Larry, that Catholics would know the truth and that evangelicals in this very false ecumenical age would see the differences. Uh, I have a very interesting article on the web page. Uh, are Catholics Christians? And we've had tremendous response to that, evangelicals whose eyes have been opened in reading that article. So it's with love for Catholics and to show the truth of Christ Jesus, that God will be glorified and many, many souls saved, particularly Catholics, to the glory of his name. Outstanding. That was a wonderful testimony, Richard. Uh, Could you just real briefly tell us about, uh, you've written some books and you've already mentioned your ministry, but what are these books you've written and how can people find them? Yes, I have written or edited, uh, written some and edited others, and uh, they have been amazing. I just thank God. Uh, Our most well-known book is Far From Rome, Near to God, The Testimonies of 50 Converted Catholic Priests. Since 1994, that book has sold steadily across the world in English and in other languages. 
and uh, it's on the third edition now and uh, the other book that has my heart really displayed and my love for Catholics is the book I've written about Catholicism called Catholicism East of Eden Insights into Catholicism for the 21st Century this book is uh, published by Banner of True Trust like the uh, book of the 50 testimonies of former priests and um, I thank God for that because the Lord has used that book and it brought many Catholics to himself by that book. Uh, the other book that my heart was in in editing together with Mary Hertel is a book called The Truth Set Us Free. 20 former nuns tell their stories and that book has been used mightily of the Lord as well and I thank God for the, those women most of whom are still alive and active in reaching out to Catholics themselves and it is just a wonderful testimony of God's grace and the the other book I've written is called On the Wings of Grace Alone I've edited that and that is just 30 ordinary Catholics and uh, what we call lay Catholics and how the Lord brought them to salvation. That is a, an amazing book too. How can you obtain these books? Well, go to our webpage, bereanbeacon.org and just go to the folder on the left-hand side, Books. And when you click on that, it gives all the details of how you can get those books. Outstanding. Well, Richard, uh, we're going to go into uh, showing people your videos now here across uh, particularly our audience on YouTube. But uh, many people don't know that you and me go to the same church here in Austin, Texas. So it gives me a special opportunity to be around you a lot just so we can do ministry work. But anyway, I want to thank you for allowing us to post your videos uh, on the Internet through YouTube and other Internet servers. You praise God and may souls be saved and the Lord glorified. Amen and amen. Amen. If you like our YouTube channel, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and then by also clicking the bell above to get an automatic update whenever we produce another YouTube video for our See Answers TV channel. Please share our videos with your friends and relatives. May God bless you. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what is done for Christ will last. See related videos by tapping or clicking screens.